morning. We're on a whole new adventure today. We just passed the turnoff that we took yesterday for Liberty Falls, and we are headed to Valdez, and we're going to do a sightseeing tour on a boat out in Prince William Sound. Doesn't that sound like fun? So this is all new roadway to us. Traveling to Valdez, Alaska. I have to say these roads were so much better than what we've been traveling on for a few days now. It was a blessing to be on such smooth, nice roads. And there's still, you know, hiccups here and there. Just outside of Glen Allen, they're doing a large repaving section while we were there. So there was some gravel we had to drive over. And those crews, they have such a limited construction time. They were working basically 24 seven trying to get that road redone. But the drive out here was just amazing. The natural beauty was stunning. I so wish that my camera could really pick up the true feeling you get being there. You know, you could feel the air coming off of the hillside with Worthington Glacier and you could feel it colder than the rest of the air. It's just, just so stunning and amazing and beautiful. Just so glad we were able to do this trip. So much variety of terrain to see. We saw so much in Valdez. Just such a wonderful, wonderful place to visit. If you get a chance to go out there, I highly, highly recommend it. Just such a beautiful, beautiful area. One of the big highlights to Valdez was we got with the Valdez Water Taxi and Charters. I'm going to put a link to them in the description. Uh, we decided to uh, book them for a three-hour uh, tour of the, the Valdez Harbor. They do tours. They do fishing charters. They do water taxi. They do a lot of things out of the Valdez area. And... Uh, we had Captain Josh that took us out. Wonderful, wonderful person. Very knowledgeable about the area. Um, showed us some wonderful sights. Uh, they call Valdez the land of the waterfalls. And I asked him, 
at one point in our tour if anyone's counted all the waterfalls. Just amazing. Coming into town, we saw waterfalls. Around town, there's waterfalls. If you look in the harbor, actually, it's really fascinating because the proximity of really critical habitat to critical industry is being done so successfully and so well. You have the oil terminal cranking out half a million barrels a day moving through here with you know, endless tankers. Then right next to it, adjacent throughout the entire tour, just countless waterfalls. It doesn't sound like anyone's tried to count them. There's just that many. But you've got an ice field just above town, multiple glaciers. So in the spring and summer, they have uh, melt runoff. The entire bay is colored because of the amount of sediment in the glacier water. But this tour was amazing and we saw spotted seal, harbor seals, sea otter. Um, we saw such wonderful, beautiful landscape, just hard to describe. Um, and again, Josh was just a wonderful professional to be with. Highly recommend him and his company if you happen to find yourself in the Valdez area. Uh, just a wonderful, wonderful time being out there in God's creation and seeing all of this beautiful scenery. I mean, it, it's hard to put into words and I know my videos are not doing this justice. It was just so beautiful. It's amazing going from the ocean, because this is the ocean, even though it looks very, very still, it's all protected being in the Prince William Sound. But you go from the ocean to mountains that are thousands of feet high, just like that. And it's just, it was awe-inspiring to be there. Uh, this is one place I would love to go back to. Josh was telling us about hikes in the area and other things to do that unfortunately on this trip, we only had one day in Valdez, so we didn't have the time to do a lot of these things he had discussed. But it was just, just so wonderful to be out there in God's creation and see this Work. And this happens routinely in Iceland, and we get them here a annually on the Valdez Glacier, on most of these glaciers. What will happen is you'll get a summer lake, a glacial lake, as the summer melt. Mm. And then it reaches a point where that... Just so glad we got to go. Um, so glad we, we spent the money to take this boat tour. And... Uh, actually quite happy that we spent a little bit extra so we had the boat just to the four of us which was nice as well but just such a, a wonderful wonderful time
it was actually kind of sweet sorrow to see our our tour of the area come to an end. The landscapes again were just amazing, and we just had such a great time out there seeing this. It's just so hard to put into words. So hard to describe. Just amazing, and how awe-inspiring, and just how beautiful it is. Can't thank Josh enough for his tour, his insight, his patience with us. Such a wonderful day that we could spend out there. Yeah, it would have been nice if it had been a little clearer, but honestly, the clouds added to the whole thing. And, and uh, here's some of those sea otters we saw on the way back in towards the harbor. This little guy was kind of a show off and sat up and watched us go by. Didn't seem to mind. The others, as soon as we got even relatively close to him, they all took off underwater. This guy just kind of sat there watching us. We were able to get a lot of pictures of him on our way around. Josh slowed down nice and slow for us going around him. and He just stayed up on top of the water saying hi. It's a wonderful ending to uh, such a wonderful trip. Gold and quartz have the same melt temperature. So when you find seams of quartz, uh, it's a likely spot for seams of gold, which they did find in here. And they put an exploratory hole. You can see a little hole in the rock over there uh, to find it. But the dilapidated dock itself has a little bit of interesting history. In 19... The information on the gold mine was, was fun to listen to and just so neat to have a guide that understood the area so well. Coming into the harbor, the clouds had lifted a, a little bit higher than they were when we left, so we could see uh, quite a bit more on the way in. Just a stunning area. One downfall, though, is we talked to some locals, and Valdez gets a lot of snow. We talked to this gal in Fairbanks later that said she'd live in Valdez because she thinks it's beautiful, but it gets too much snow in the wintertime. I didn't. Here we go, Stan. There's one for sale up here. And while we were in town, we went out to eat. One of the very few times we went out to eat on the trip. And uh, I was able to try Alaskan king crab for the first time. That is some really good crab, I have to say. There's no one in that shot on this scene, but as we came up to go on our on our tour, there were some people down there at the water fishing, catching salmon right out of the out of the dock area. Then we made it to Solomon Gulch Fish Hatchery. Real pretty gulch. This is right across the street from the hatchery itself. The fish hatchery has uh, set up self-guided tours. You can walk along the fish ladder that uh, goes up to the uh, spawning beds and they, they uh, end up incubating a lot of salmon out of this fish hatchery that they release every year. And, I mean, it's the numbers were quite astonishing how many they actually uh, release every year. I think it's two different kinds of salmon they released from this location. It was neat to, to see the fish ladders and watching the salmon go up and fight their way up through the fish ladder to get up to the spawning pools. And, and there were some huge sea lions just outside here that uh, we got a show from one of them coming up on the, on the dam and voicing his opinion to his friends. It was a neat experience to be there at the fish hatchery. We really enjoyed it. And if I can ever manage to get back up here into Alaska, Valdez, I really want to come back and see more of you. It was a great time.
Thank <laughs> you. 